Hey everyone, so I am walking down the street and I thought I would just record a little bit on this phone, test it out and see how it is, and show you guys a little bit of the city. The city reminds me of Europe mixed with Thailand, so it's an interesting mix. Definitely wasn't what I was expecting when I came here, but I'm really liking it. You know, the people are really nice, the weather is good, they have a large variety of different foods, the food is pretty good, and um, yeah, so far, no complaints. You know what I mean? Yeah. What time do you think you want to be back? It's 2.30 um, now? You got a couple days off, yeah? No, this is my last one. <laughs> but. It's like the people here really don't have much patience. They will run you over. Like they do not care about pedestrians here. They will run you over. I don't even know where the camera I don't know where the camera is, so if it doesn't look like I'm looking in the camera, that's because I'm not sure which circle it's supposed to be. There's so many circles on this phone. But today I actually had some topics I wanted to talk about while I vlog, and one was actually about you, people that go against the grain, because that's something that's been coming up for me, and something that I noticed because a lot of us right now are being asked to step out of our comfort zone you know and align more with your divine mission and that's a hard thing for a lot of people because a lot of people get stuck into their belief patterns their limiting beliefs you know their comforts are their insecurities people judging them etc etc and I think for the most part I've gotten over all that but sometimes it can still pop up and I think ever since the full moon energy like I was having some moments of that coming up so I figured it was like a collective thing that was coming up you know people still feeling like um, not fully confident in, in like whatever you're being guided to do you may still have a little bit of hesitation just because of either family stigma, society stigma, you know, your own limitations, or you feel like you're not ready. Like lack of readiness came up a lot. Like people that think they have to have so much qualifications, degrees, courses, even though like most of these people probably already have been taking multiple courses, multiple preparation, but you still feel like, oh, I'm not ready. I need more. I need more knowledge. I need more and more and more. And all that really does is really keeps you stuck you know and a lot of times when we get into the space of constant consumption or constant feeling like we need to learn more do more we don't really take enough action to like lay any kind of foundation so that was one thing that came up a lot like okay you are ready you are qualified you have more than enough experience and a lot of people that have been waking up since you know 2012 we have been already been put through all these tests to prepare us for this time going into 2020 so now it is the time to just go for it so like whatever you're being guided to do it is definitely the time to just go for it and not stop not like second guessing yourself stopping yourself or thinking you're not good enough you're not worthy enough or like who am i to do this you know there's so many saboteur energies that could be coming in like the imposter saboteur energies and we are all worthy to receive whatever we want to create whatever is in your soul that you came here to express you can create that for yourself and a lot of people get into the space of oh I'll do it later or they keep waiting and they're waiting and they're waiting and then you build up so much more layers of resistance that you never really get started. So even if you are scared, you know, you got to do it afraid. You got to do it scared and you just got to take one small step, whatever that is. Um, you know, like for me recently, I kind of did a little bit of a switch. I mean, it really isn't a massive switch, you know, getting 
getting back into shamanic medicine and learning and starting to practice, you know, more of that. Um, it wasn't really a drastic switch for me, but I can tell for me it was a lot more ancestral, heavy, like past life resistance that was coming up for me because um, I feel like a lot of people in my lineage um, wasn't really very accepting of their gift. Like I realized my, a lot of people in my family are very gifted, but a lot of people shun their gifts or they blunt it or they numb it, kind of like what I did for most of my life. And trying to reclaim that essence and understand that, okay, it's okay to have these gifts, it's okay to have the sensitivities and all that stuff. It's all a part of my process. And I realized it goes deeper than just this lifetime, the resistance that was coming up for me. So that may be something for you because I know a lot of people that are sensitive have that. Like they have a lot of lifetimes where they were ostracized or they were killed at the stake, burned at the stake. So that could be a heavy um, thing to overcome. You know, even though it's getting a lot lighter, like I think this is the end of the road, especially for me. Like I'm just a little bit of that resistance, but I'm definitely starting to push through it, which is why, you know, I felt like, okay, I needed to call my channel shamanic something so I can really start to embody that archetype because I know I notice things about um, shamanism are still a lot of taboo it's like oh you're not allowed to call yourself a shaman or even utter the name it's so interesting that we can accept like oh people call themselves goddess or even witches or priestess and all that but as soon as the name of shaman comes out it's like oh my god taboo or you know people think it's like some sense of um, People are using it to do an ego boost, and it's like, how's that any different than any other label? How's it any different than me just calling myself Nadia or anything else? You know, the meaning is what you give to it. It's not always, it's not always like how people perceive it. So for me, I wanting to embody more of the shamanistic archetype. And since I've had a lineage of a lot of resistance, I have to constantly see the name so I don't, you know, go back into that pattern of wanting to shut down that energy within me because I'm trying to build it up again. So yeah, I thought I would just do a little walk and talk and I'm going to show you guys a little bit of the street here. I have a lot of residents for the city for some reason. Maybe I was here in some past life, but I'm like a little too <laughs> like connecting with the land here. But I will show you guys some videos, or I'll insert some videos so you can see a little bit of the streets. Um, if I can figure out how to work this camera. <laughs> and I'm gonna go to the store and get a few things like toilet tissue and whatnot. And I think I'm going to stop the video here. Yeah, but I will see you guys in a bit. Bye.